Hello everyone and welcome again to Ferris Sports Update. I'm your host Rob Bentley and thanks for tuning in. On today's show we'll recap another big weekend for Bulldog Hockey, we'll preview men's basketball and we'll touch base with Bulldog Volleyball. First up, Bulldog Hockey, head coach Bob Daniels. And coach, welcome back from the Upper Peninsula Thanksgiving break and welcome back to the show. Good to be here, Rob. Bulldogs this past weekend, another another big weekend. You went on the road after a, a six game homestand. You you take three of a possible four points against the Northern Michigan Wildcats. Yeah, it, it's good. You know, we, we came off that six game homestand and it's our, uh, uh, you know, we, we had a chance to play against uh, Northern up there. And, and uh, while it was obviously Thanksgiving break up there too, and I think it did diminish their attendance, uh, still it was good to go on the road, come away with three out of four points. And it sounds like a broken record every week, but that's a good Northern Michigan team. They did suffer an injury uh, to one of their key players uh, on the Friday night game late, and uh, and that's going to set them back. But they're they're a really good hockey team, and we we're glad to kind of escape there with three out of the four points. You got to be pleased with where you're at right now. Five weekends into the WCHA, and you've taken 18 out of a possible 20 points. Yeah, we're really you know obviously very thrilled to be to be there. I w wouldn't have guessed that when the season started. We're really happy to be there, but. We also uh, really understand that, you know what, there's areas of our game that just are not where it needs to be. And we're kind of, I, I say it every week, but we're living a little bit on borrowed time right now. And, and we've got to, you know, on the defensive side of things, we're not as strong as we need to be. Even though we only give up a, a goal each night, and we're looking at the highlights here, you can see C.J. Mott, you know, we're still leading on a pretty heavy. And if anything, we, we actually, again, played better on the Saturday game where we ended up tied It just, you know, Friday night, all the pucks seem to be going in for us. Matt Robertson got the first goal of the game uh, on Friday in a 4-1 to win for the Bulldogs. He's, he's really became a producer for the Bulldogs, had a goal on Saturday as well. He has become a producer, and you know what? We, what we saw it in him a year ago. He just did not have the strength to get around the net to score the goals. And, and then the start this year, he was really good in practice, but again, we didn't see it come through in the games. We, we kind of sat him for four games. He's come back, and I think he's pretty much a goal a game since he's gotten back. And I would anticipate him, you know, the remainder of this year and then throughout his career to be one of our top scorers. He's got that kind of talent. Big goal here from Kyle Shemp and then Brandon Anselmini with uh, the Bulldogs' final goal of the night. Uh, you were able to capitalize on a couple power plays. Yeah, we were. And, and you mentioned Kyle Shemp, a uh, freshman for us, who's really, he stepped in and has uh, looked like he's a veteran. Um, but it was good to get a couple power play goals on Friday night and, and actually get some scoring from our defensemen again. As you go to Saturday night's game, obviously uh, the Bulldogs get the win on Friday night and uh, another tough contest on Saturday results in a one-to-one -one overtime tie. Yeah, it was physical, it was tough. You can, it, And these highlights here, as you're watching, any time it gets around either net, you can see it gets extremely physical. And the highlight we're watching here is the opening face-off. They kind of come down and they get a pretty good opportunity right here. And you know, in a game that's going to end one and one, boy, I'd hate to think we'd give up a goal in the first 15 seconds of a game. But, you know, we kind of settled ourselves back down. Um, and, 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 and I really thought this was one of our better games here. Um, interesting thing, Rob, when we, at the end of this game, uh, it's 1-1. One, one, and basically for the entire overtime, we ended up shorthanded. We had to kill the entire five minutes of overtime uh, because of a checking from behind penalty on, uh, on uh, Jason Binkley. Penalty kill, obviously, as you mentioned, uh, successful on the weekend. How important uh, was C.J. Mott in that, and how did he play this weekend? He was great. Uh, really where he earned his uh, his stripes was uh, the Friday night game, especially early on. I think we were outshot 11-1 to 1 in, a, in the first 10 minutes of that game, and without him, we're down 2 nothing. Then we get our feet underneath us. We start playing better. Um, the second night, and, and I, you talk about the penalty kill, but the, the second night, uh, in that uh, five minute span, I don't believe we gave up a shot on goal. So the penalty kill really did its job. The Bulldogs uh, with the win, obviously, uh, you stay unbeaten in the WCHA uh, on Friday night, a tie on Saturday. Uh, just talk about where you're at here as you have one, one final weekend of WCHA play left before the holidays. Yeah, we've got the, the one big uh, weekend that's coming up, another big test for us against uh, uh, Lake Superior State. They're another team that I don't know where they are in the rankings right now. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised to see them up there near the top 10 right now. Um, they're a good hockey team. This will be another big test for us. Uh, and then 
We do finish up with a couple non-conference games uh, before we hit the holidays. How, how important is this stretch uh, as you get ready for the holiday break uh, to, to try to maintain some momentum as you head into the second half of the season? Well, it's really important, and, and I'd like to see us actually play better, uh, certainly on the Friday nights. The Friday nights, for whatever reason, we're, we're, we're not ready. And, you know, and to an extent, we do have a target on our back right now. We, we, we haven't been beaten in league. Um, we are a top uh, 10 team in the country, and I think, you know, we've got the longest unbeaten streak in, in, in the nation right now. So when we walk in the rinks, we have to understand, I mean, there is a target on our backs, and teams are, are, are we're getting their best shot. And for whatever reason, we walk in on Fridays, and we don't, it's almost like we're caught off guard with how hard the other teams are playing. And then we warm them to the task. So I'd like to see us get off to a better start, uh, certainly, or at least be able to match the intensity of other teams when, when the puck is dropped. Obviously, uh, maybe the final time we'll have a chance to talk with you until the second second semester. Uh, the Bulldogs at Lake Superior State this weekend. Then you've got uh, some non-conference matchups. You mentioned Michigan, Michigan State, a tournament at Minnesota. Just talk about those those challenges and how those will help prepare you for the second half of the season. Sure. Well, that gives us an opportunity to kind of jump in and play uh, some of the Big Ten. We'll play, hopefully, by the end of the Minnesota tournament, we'll play half the uh, teams in the Big Ten. So that's good, and, and we'll get a, get a feel for how we are getting out of conference. Uh, obviously, Michigan's having, I think they're number two in the country. They're having a great year. Uh, Michigan State, as of late, has been winning. I, I think they, they swept Princeton on the weekend. Uh, Minnesota's the number one team in the country. So this is going to be, it, it'll be good. It'll be a good stretch as we prepare for our final uh, 16 games in conference. C.J. Mott still unbeaten in that, uh, kind of hard to believe. Uh, just, just talk about what have been the keys to his success so far this year. Well, you know, he, he's picked up where he left off a year ago. He's an unbelievably hard worker. Um, I give a lot of credit to, uh, obviously, to Dave Sensor. He's our goaltending coach. And then uh, Charles Williams, who works hard every single day in practice, and, and continues to push C.J. So we're in an enviable spot where we've got two really good goaltenders. Uh, C.J. is just, right now, I, I can't imagine a goalie in the country really playing better than what, what he's been playing. Obviously, uh, some of the younger kids have been big producers as well. Uh, just, just talk about some of those youngsters and how they've... Uh really uh, stepped up their games here early on in the year? Well, they, they came in and, uh, you know, obviously we're, we're led by our, our seniors in terms of uh, our upperclassmen in terms of uh, um, Garrett Thompson and Buzio and, and Kane, but all of a sudden you've got a guy like Shemp and McDonald, uh, Mayhew, you know, they're in the lineup every single night, Seth Adams. Uh, on defense, we got Ryan Lowney. So we're getting a lot of productivity from freshmen. And I don't believe our team would be where it is right now if, if our freshmen hadn't been this hadn't been such a good class. Uh, you know, certainly we're being led by the upperclassmen, but boy, the freshmen have really chipped in and, and, and it's been welcome. This weekend, Lake Superior State on the road. What do you what do you expect out of the Lakers? Well, Jimmy Rock's an excellent coach. Um, they've got a, there'll be a big team. Um, you know, over the years, I, I, I think in the neutral zone, uh, um, Lake State's been as good a team as we faced. They run some different things that you don't normally see. They, they like to, to hit your blue line in the middle of the ice, and it, it's created a lot of heartburn for us. So there'll be some things we have to get prepared for. They've got excellent goaltending, and they're the one team that's very similar to us in this, this regard. They've got depth and scoring that goes through all four lines. And we've run into, like last week, a Northern had depth through maybe two lines, uh, although they, their upper lines are as good as you're going to see. But they don't have the depth throughout the entire lineup that really we, you're going to see in Lake Superior State. Well, Coach, best of luck to the Bulldogs, and best of luck as you get ready to, to close out this first half of the season. Thanks, Rob. We'll be back with more Fair, Fair Sports Update right after this.